good, good. Hey, can you talk about uh, coming back, scoring 18 points, being the team's leading scorer tonight after going scoreless against U of A? I mean, my coach is just, you know, continue to tell me stay up and uh, <clears throat> stay confident. So, but I just wanted to come out and uh, have a short-term memory and go out there and just play. Yeah, can you talk about breaking down that zone defense a little bit? I saw, you know, a lot of skip passes and, and getting down underneath on the baseline. How are you guys able to penetrate that zone? I mean, um, we have a lot of athletic players and people who can do a lot of you know, versatile things. So, really, we just wanted to make sure that we penetrate and, you know, hit the open man, uh, try to get the best shots for each other, you know, not be selfish. Yeah, talk about that overtime. You hit a huge three there. I know you didn't get that one at the end of regulation, but you guys really hit some big shots in overtime and, and kind of pulled away there. Yeah, I mean, I was just feeling a little bit, and I just wanted to see, you know, it was basically just testing to see if it was okay. I got a good roll, and uh, uh, my teammates hit some, some other big shots after that, so um, yeah. it's part of the game. Yeah, when did you know you, you were kind of feeling it? Because cause Arizona was, was not good for anybody. I mean, yeah, I mean, um, I just wanted to come out early and be a little uh, aggressive. Stay uh, stay confident and stay calm, you know, not let the crowd get, get to me. You know, like uh, Arizona, they really was you know, on me and got me sped up a little bit. And, uh, so I just wanted to play my game today. Yeah, definitely. Talk about uh, that post play of Josh. I mean, they had kind of a small lineup, and it seemed like there was a lot of uh, matchup problems at, at first. You guys kind of figured it out at the end there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Josh, I think that Josh can play, you know, with any team. You know, some of small teams out there are all big. But, um, you know, sometimes it's a matchup problem. But uh, Josh makes a lot of uh, matchup problems himself. So, um, I mean, you know, we have to have Josh out there regardless of who's, who's playing. So, you know, he's one of our most dominant players. Yeah, definitely. Did you take it personally after uh, Thursday to come out and have a good game tonight? Really, I was just trying to come out and play my game. But, um, I felt like last game, I was a little sped up, didn't uh, play my game, you know, the game that my, my uh, coach staff knew I can play. So today I just wanted to come out calm and, um, and relax. And I felt like I played a little calm today. Why do you think you guys have such a hard time putting teams away? I mean, you know, teams are at home. You know, they got to make big shots and things like that. We just have to say, you know, keep our composure. You know, that, that's still a good team. You know, they made some big shots. You know, anyone make big shots in their home. You know, we just, but it's good that we kept our composure and came through with the win. Coach Allen called it a great win. You know, when you, there's wins, there's good wins and great wins. Wouldn't this just be a win? I mean, you know, it's good just to get a, a you know a, a win on the road like this. You know, after losing, you know, a really disappointing loss the other day, you know, it's good to come back and get a win like this. You know, especially for the crowd, you know, all on our backs, and you know, he came out with the win basically. So when you when you guys look back at these type of games, do you do you think about you know we won the game, or do you think about man we should have put him away down the stretch? A little bit of both. You know, uh, me, me, I'm just as long as we win, I feel good about it, you know. But I still feel like you know we we could have did some, some better things out there and um, came to an even bigger win. But I mean, as long as you get the win, it's all matters. Is that one thing to worry about though? That you know, if you have this kind of breakdown against a better team, you might not be able to come out the win. You know, moving forward. I mean, really, we can't even focus on that right now. We just have to focus on, you know, we got to win today. Now let's get ready for our next game. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll get it. You know, it's, just, it's, just, it's still a learning process, you know, but we'll get it. 11 turnovers in basically the first half of the first half, first 10 minutes of the game. What was going wrong? Was that a mental thing? Was it a, you know, just things not being crisp enough? Because they seem to not be able to capitalize either. Um, I mean, we came out a little sluggish, you know. Um, some passes were right there, but, you know, people were dropping and things like that. But, I mean, it's, it's okay. You know, we still we still fight out there for each other, you know. We're not going to worry about that. We'll just come out and play for each other and get the win. What do you worry about? Uh, my teammates. That's all I'm worrying about, making sure that they're confident in themselves. And just coming out there and trying to keep everything in control and keep them, uh, you know, composed. What do you guys, uh, what do you learn from, from these types of games? And how can that help you down the road, you know, knowing that you came out with the win? Um, that, you know, road games, <clears throat> things like this are going to happen in road games, you know. Some calls are going to go their way, some calls are going to go our way, you know. They're going to make big shots. We just have to stay composed, you know. I think that's one of the biggest things we probably learned this, this time is keeping our composure, you know, during times, you know, when things are going bad and things are going good, you just keep our composure. You guys, uh, I think, started the game like three for 16, three-point shooting, and then you, uh, Malcolm and Jeremy all hit big ones in overtime. Talk about, you know, like you said, keeping your composure, like how that, how that can change like that. Um, you know, um, coming out of uh, the regulation, we just said that you know it's a new game. You know, let everything go that happened in the first, in the first uh, two halves. Let's come out and play hard. You know, try to uh, come in like it's the first half of the game and you know give it all we got. You know, for for a guard and for someone who's going to be taking those threes, is it about just totally clearing your mind and just saying, all right, this is its own shot? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a shot. You know, we take these shots every day. We worked on these shots, every, you know, all through the summer. It's the same shot. You know, you don't want to change anything. You just want to keep your mind clear and stay confident. So you guys are midway through the Pac-10 at 6-3. and three. How are you feeling at this point after playing everybody? 
I mean, I feel pretty good, but I feel like we could have some some other wins. You know, we could have won some of those other games that we lost. But I mean, the second half of the Pac-10 is about to start, so we just want to get those wins there. Definitely. Thanks, Zeke.